Hello everyone, my name is Sutton the Wolf, and welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend. Um, well, last time we got, like, a dark plot twist, apparently. Ryota's mother is, like, apparently dying or something, and that's not good at all. So, uh, we just got a text message from Ryota, and I'm hoping that it's not what I think it is. But, alright, here we go. Somebody sent me a text message. It's from Ryota. Meet me in the park at 7. What's going on? I hope it isn't something bad. Oh boy. Ryota! I hope I didn't keep you waiting? Nope. Sorry for dragging you out like this, Sutton. What is it? Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's fine now. Thanks. She said, You're old enough already. Go spend the day with someone important. And wouldn't let me back into her room. Going home is too lonely, so I thought maybe if I talked to you, I'd feel a little better. Aw. So you called me? Do you feel better? Yep. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Sitting out here on Christmas Eve is kind of sad. Want to go somewhere? Hey, it's Christmas Eve. Oh yeah, I didn't even notice from the date in the corner. Wow. I don't mind, Ryota. Anywhere's fine with you. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't even notice the the background music. It's, uh... Yeah, Silent Night, I think that is? Yeah, I think that's Silent Night. And so Ryota and I spent the evening sitting together in the park. It wasn't very Christmassy, but I don't mind. Hmm. Was that how you spell Christmassy? With two M's? Oh my god! Happy New Year! But it's raining! <laughs> oh well. I'd go to the shrine, but this weather makes the wilderness dangerous. I think I'll sleep in like a good girl instead. I won't be able to send out cards in this rain either. Fiddlesticks. Well, alright then. Why is it pouring down rain on New Year's Day? That sucks. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. Ha ha ha, animal joke. What a shocker. <laughs> You're still hibernating. Sir, wake up! Oh, uh, I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts. There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Oh. Okay. Oh, that was... Wow, that was really fast. Alright, well, we're on our third term now. Okay. I was expecting that to last a lot longer. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Why do, why do I say that? <laughs> oh, tomorrow's Lugamentines. Legamentines? What is that? I have no idea what that means. I think I'll buy some beans. Oh, okay. Today, Legamentines is a holiday where you give beans to the boy you like, but apparently it's used to it used to involve throwing them at pigeons. The fuck? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Disgraceful. Somebody tell me if that's a real thing. <laughs> good evening. Here for beans? Yes, is there a kind that you think is particularly good? This year's trend is towards these bean medleys for racers, but they're a little pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question, really. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... Hmm. Oh, uh... Hmm. Well... This probably would... Hmm. Am I supposed to know what kind they would like? Um, calm corn, bitter black beans, country millets, swollen hemp racing blend. Uh, hmm. I'll go with country millets. I don't know what that is. Millet, millet. I'll go with this one. Cool. I'll take these. Thank you, miss. Here you are. 
All right then, I wonder, I wonder whose beans I got. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give these beans to the special sunbirdy. Ryota, wait! Eh? Huh? Um, do you have a minute? Sure, what's up? So I didn't actually get to... I didn't get to choose. I would assume I've spent the most time with Ryota, so that's why. Here, I got these for you. Uh, th thanks, Sutton. Um, do you maybe not care for these? Uh, no, that's not it. I mean, it's a present from you. Yeah, he doesn't like it. Of course I'll eat it. Don't worry about it, Ryota. You're not fooling anyone anyway. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Sutton. These will make me sick. No, I forgot about his weak stomach. Oh, that's right. You have to be really careful with what you eat. Maybe I should have gotten the calm corn. Maybe that would have been correct for him. Sorry, Ryota. I don't really know how I was supposed to know which one to get. You don't have to apologize. It's my digestive system that should be saying it's sorry. Huh. <sighs> All I managed to do was make a faux pas. I'll have to be more careful next year. Well, dang. I wonder what would have happened if I got the right kind. Hmm. Tests are over, and there's nothing else to do but wait for spring break. This semester really was over before I knew it. Semester's over? My gosh. That aside, it's cold. I need to do something about the temperature in my house before I get sick. Huh? Someone sent me a text message. Who is that? In the park. Come quick. Who is that? I have no idea who that is. Is that Ryota? Ryota? Ryota's huddled on the bench where we usually meet. Ryota, what's... He's crying? It's still cold out, Ryota. You'll catch a cold without a coat on. You'll catch cold. Uh, not the time for typos. Right. Hey, Sutton. My mother died today. Damn it! Ugh, I knew it was going to happen. I didn't want it to, though. Damn it. Ugh. I can't find words. I had a feeling this conversation would come, but I don't know what to say. She was a dove, but she she always got sick when, when it was cold. That's not right. That isn't supposed to happen. Ryota. I'm alone now, Sutton. You still have me, don't you? She said the same thing at the end. Rely on Sutton and let her rely on you. But I think that would be irresponsible of me. I love you, Sutton. More than anyone else now. I love you too, Ryota. But I... How can I say this? My mother was weak, but it's not as if she had a short life for a dove. So... What are you trying to say, Ryota? If... If you were to marry me, I'd die much sooner than you. We're different species. We have different lifespans, too. That's nature. But knowing that from the start, knowing that I would end up leaving you alone, it, it just seems too irresponsible. That doesn't matter. It doesn't mean we can't be together. I love you, Ryota. I want to be with you until the end. I know what it feels like to be left alone now. I don't want to make you feel this pain, Sutton. I think we should go our separate ways. No, we won't. That's what life is, Ryota. It's unfair and painful, and sometimes it seems nothing good will ever happen. But fighting on, following our search to seek happiness anyway, that's what makes us alive. Oh my god. This is not what I was expecting to happen. Holy shit. That's how our ancestors lived and died and evolved and brought us to where we are now. But we... Birds weren't meant to come this far. We've advanced more than we were ever meant to. That doesn't matter. Ryota, I love you. I want to be with you as long as I can. Even if it's just for a little while. I think you want to be with me too. Where's the problem? Sutton. 
I'm not as healthy or strong as you are. I'm not smart or handsome or rich, but I'm happy. Thank you. You don't have to think about it so much, Ryota. We can worry about the future when it comes, right? Right. I don't think I'll have calmed down for a while yet, but I'm glad I was born. If only because I got to be with you. It's like a miracle. Thank you. Damn. We have to part with everyone eventually. If it comes a little early, then that's life. I don't care for how long it is. I'm happy enough just being with Ryota. But live as long as you can, Ryota. Live as long as you can so that you can carry wonderful memories with you when you return to the sky. What the... That's it?! What the... Seriously, that's it? Wow. Holy cow. So I guess we get married to Ryota? I was expecting a bit more to happen, but... Pidgeo Nation Inc. By the pigeon and for the pigeon. That's clever how they had their name in the school and whatnot. Alright, well... Jeez, you caught me off guard. I mean, that's like perfect episode length, but seriously, come on. Uh, ending number one. While it lasts. Okay, so there are multiple endings. While it lasts. Okay. So there- I was right, there- there are, like, a ton of different endings with this. Alright. Hum. So it seems like with this game, you- you sort of pick who you want early, and then you just go down their route. Um, I was expecting it to be more of a- I was expecting you to have more opportunities to choose who you were with. But, uh, because near the end I was thinking about going- Like, I was trying to decide between the teacher guy and Ryota the whole time. Because, like, I liked Ryota the best, but the teacher was kind of my second favorite, and he, uh, I don't know, I felt like I should, I kind of started to want to go away from the original story, because, like, I feel like Ryota's the one that you're supposed to want to be with. Like, they, I, th I feel like his character seemed like the kind of character that you're supposed to sympathize for. You're supposed to be like, oh, the childhood friend, he's so nice, and, like, go with, like, that's the natural first ending that you see. Um, so I kind of, I kind of wanted to branch off, but, um, I'm, I'm satisfied with the ending. Um, that said, it ended pretty quick. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bit longer. Um, and as for this game in general, my comments about it, um, it jumped around a bit too much, in my opinion. Like, it, it hardly flowed. The only times it seemed to flow were, like, when there were special events, like, with that bean day, the, that, um, I don't know, it just didn't seem to flow, um, and I don't know if that's characteristic of these games, like, I think I said this in the beginning, but I've never played a dating simulator game before, this is a hell of a one to start with, yeah, but, like, I've never played one of these before, so I don't know if that's just indicative of the series, but, uh, not series, but genre, um, that's the word. Um, but I, I wasn't a big fan of how it just kind of, like, darted around randomly. Um, and it even, like, the music didn't even fade out. It would just, like, blatantly stop. And so it really just kind of, like, cut off all the emotions at that point. And, like, I, I would have felt better if they at least, like, maybe transitioned the, the soundtrack better. Or if they'd, like, transitioned the plot better. Like... Something along those lines that would have made it feel a little bit better. Um, because this was just kind of blocky. Uh, as for the writing, um, I'll be honest, the writing was a lot better than it should have been. Um, I will say, there were parts that didn't seem to fit. Like, there was the, like, the maid cafe. Like, nothing ever happened out of that. Um, we saw him at his transvestite job. Like, the transvestite, like... Uh, transvestite cafe um i wouldn't have minded like seeing what that was all about if not for just like a funny scene like 
I, I wouldn't have I would have liked to see a funny scene where we like go to the transvestite cafe and we like maybe have a laugh with Ryota because of his outfit or something or we like get really surprised because all of these like male birds are dressed up as females or something like something along those lines because there it didn't seem like there was a whole lot of um, comic relief in here um, and that's not a terrible thing like I'm all for games that are extremely serious um, like I'm, I'm fine with that um, and this game did handle itself pretty well um, it took itself entirely seriously for the most part there was there were a couple times where it made like a lot of puns or like it was like aware of itself and that that was good and like that gave me a laugh in the beginning but like um i guess it's a good and a bad thing because as the game went on we obviously went down ryota's path and so ryota's path involves his mother and his mother passes away and so um it, it that's not really the place for humor so i can definitely understand like the transition from like happy go lucky into okay something's wrong into okay here this is what happened. Um that I feel like they did pretty well. Um however looking back on it I kind of was hoping it would be a bit funnier. Um and that's not really a problem with the game. That's just my personal preference. Um cuz I'm used to stuff like the beginning of the game where it's like okay this is ridiculous but it's funny. Um and it's like aware of itself. It's like it's like with uh it's like in Nekopara when they make a bunch of cat puns or something. Or like they, they're they really aware of the fact that it's a ridiculous thing that would never happen. Um, and they like play off of it. Like whenever they have like cat girls playing with little toys or something. Like things that are like funny scenes like that. Here, um, they didn't do um, anything on that extent. But they did do like the no birdie, any birdie puns. Like those were funny. Um, like, they had, they had its fair share of, of humor, and some characters did have their, like, unique points about themselves that were funny, um, so that's not entirely a problem, it just wasn't quite as humorous as I would have hoped it would have been. Um, as for the characters, um, I actually quite liked the variety of characters they had. Um, they did have their tropes, like, they had the, they had the really kind, um, the really kind... Uh, childhood friend. They had the really shy kid who hangs out in the library and, like, doesn't talk to people. They had the really stuck-up person who's probably a really nice guy or had something happen to him or something. Like, something that would make you hate him in the beginning but like him in the end. Um, I liked the teacher. Um, the teacher didn't seem to follow, like, a normal trope. Like, they followed the trope of the sleepy character that's just always sleeping, but you don't always see that with the teacher. Um, you see it sometimes, but not, not a whole lot. So I appreciated that. Um, the, perver the pervy doctor is not entirely uncommon. Um, so, eh, but I mean, it's a decent trope. Um, and then the, they had, like, the really attractive senpai that everyone likes that takes an interest in the main character. So there was that trope as well. So they did, they did kind of follow the tropes, but, um, they did a good job of it. They didn't, like, they didn't mess anything up with the characters, I didn't think. Um, they were kind of cut and dry at times, but they, they at least had adequate explanation for them, it seems like. Um, so props there for doing that correctly. Um, overall, like, this game was better than I thought it'd be. Um, I had a feeling that that was what was going to happen. Um, I've been told that this game is really good. Um, and I will say it's not the best game I've ever played. Um, and again, it's, it's not, like, really expensive or anything, so, I mean, I, I'd be willing to say I got my money's worth, definitely. Um, and I've only played through one ending, so I've hardly gotten anything out of it. Um, but I'm satisfied with it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get an, through another playthrough of this. I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm tempted to do the teacher's route, because I remember we made a few decisions at the beginning... Some towards Ryota, some towards Kazuaki, the teacher. Um, and I remember we had little events happen with both of them. Um, but we kind of had leaned a little, little bit toward, more towards Ryota, and so it ended with him. But uh, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what Kazuaki's story would be. So I might do one more playthrough of this just to see what that ending is. But I'm not sure. Um, don't 
quote me on that, guys. I'm not quite sure. But uh, final thoughts um, to the to the makers of this game. Good job. Um, it was very nice. Not my not really my type of game, but uh, it was really nice. It was. I wasn't expecting it to be a good first dating simulator to start with, but it seemed like it was. Like it seemed to copy what I know should be in dating simulators. And like I said, the writing was honestly a lot better than I feel it should have been. And so props there. Um, I like the characters. They were a bit cut and dry at times, but still they were fine. Um, they were adequate at least. Um, it did a decent job of um, leaving like little little trails of like, oh, I wonder what happened with this. Um, it did a decent job of like keeping me curious about what happened. Because like this ending... It's satisfying for Ryota's ending, but it's not satisfying at all for anyone else because you didn't find anything else out. And so that's a good way to get people to keep playing and keep going to different endings and things like that. So you can find out the whole story. And so that's really good. They did that really well. Um, so again, not really my type of game, but hey, I enjoyed it. Um, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would at least. Um, so I might play again. I might do Kazuaki's route, um, but no guarantees. Don't expect me to. Um, might just be a little surprise I do, but regardless, that's gonna do it for this series, guys, or at least this playthrough. Um, yeah, this was Hotful Boyfriend. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. If you really want me to do a specific playthrough, or if you want me to try and find someone else, like, try not to give me spoilers, but, um, if you really want to see me do it again, then yeah, I can. Um, but... Leave your opinions down in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see you guys next time on something else, or this, maybe.